Sugarcane, sorghum, and switchgrass. Did you know that plants like these are actually green alternatives to fossil fuels? And if we know how to grow them faster or better, we can cut down our air pollution. And that is where a one-of-a-kind plant in the U.S. Midwest comes in. The Wall Street Journal's Jenny Mark has this. Once a day, more than 1,000 plants take a little trip just like this. Machines water, warm, and weigh them. Well, scientists watch. The goal? To better understand how plants grow in order to grow them quicker and with less energy. Energy is expensive. It is a limiting resource. We need plants that use it more efficiently. And all of those things require a lot of research. That's what we're here for. By here, he means a new lab at the Donald Danforth Science Center. From height to leafiness, Scientists gather information on the physical traits of plants, which is known as phenotyping. And now they can do so, like this, instead of this. In the old days, you would go out to the greenhouse with a ruler, and you would measure it every day. What we do now is automatically image or photograph the plant from all different sides at either every day or twice a day, or we could do it 12 times a day. This way, over just several weeks, Scientists get more data with more plants, more precisely. This shaves years off experiment time. What the robots let you do is to do things faster and with fewer errors. Robots tend to work continuously. But Carrington says they're not eliminating jobs. People still need to analyze the 8,000 images that get stored here each day. So we still need the scientists. The machines are not yet the scientists. We, we, need, we need the minds, we need the people. They're just doing different things than what they did 20 years ago. And those different things means you benefit from this research sooner. Whether it's growing bioenergy grasses more efficiently, like this experiment, or growing crops with less fertilizer, which could save big money, now these end products can hit markets years ahead of schedule. All with a little help from 1,000 plants at a time.